I'm David Hernquist, Senior Pastor of the Van Ness Assembly of God here in the Bronx. On behalf of our congregation, my wife Mary and I would like to invite you to join with us as we share together in worship and the Word. Prayer counselors are standing by during this program time to agree with you in prayer. Our desire is that everyone would experience the grace of God that comes through faith in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Be blessed as you worship with us today. Matthew 25, verse 14. The kingdom of heaven is like a man traveling to a far country who called his own servants and delivered his goods to them. And to one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one. To each according to his own ability. And immediately he went on a journey. Then he who had received the five talents went and traded with them and made another five talents. And likewise, he who had received two gained two more also. But he who had received one went and dug in the ground and hid his Lord's money. After a long time, the Lord of those servants came and settled accounts with them. So he who had received five talents came and brought five other talents, saying, Lord, you delivered to me five talents. Look, I have gained five more talents besides them. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You were faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. He also, who had received two talents, came and said, Lord, you delivered to me two talents. Look, I have gained two more talents besides them. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You are faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. Then he who had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you have not sown, gathering where you have not scattered seed. And I was afraid and went and hid your talent in the ground. Look, there you have what is yours. But his Lord answered and said to him, You wicked and lazy servant. You knew that I reap where I have not sown and gather where I have not scattered seed. So you ought to have deposited my money with the bankers and at my coming I would have received back my own with interest. Therefore, take the talent from him and give it to him who has ten talents. For to everyone who has, more will be given, and he will have abundance. But from him who does not have even what he has will be taken away. And cast the unprofitable servant into the outer darkness. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Father, teach us today through your word. Show us your ways. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Now, this is a pretty obvious parable. Uh, the, Lord, the Lord has given his talents, his goods, to these three people. One received five, one received two, one received one. And Notice that nobody is compared with the other. In the evaluation or the judgment, it has nothing to do with comparing ourselves. God doesn't compare ourselves with other people. We are judged on what happens with our own life, what we do with, with what God gave us. And that's all we're responsible for. We're responsible for what God gave us. And that means that not every ministry has to be the same size. Not every church has to be the same size. Not every ministry needs to be the same. But depending on the calling, depending on the purpose that we're here. 